Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about like working with uh, Synapse with open source framework. So the topic is Azure Synapse AI Love Story. So will it work? Oh, the laptop also flips it out. So let's give it a try. So Synapse plus PyTorch. We are gambling right now to see if it works or not. So if the combination works, so it would be a win-win situation so let's just go for it so we have we have this uh, particular window open where you see the synapse studio um, as a complete package so already have to touched upon some of the parts in synapse like uh, it starts with home we have the data option we have develop options and orchestrate and other things so we would be touching upon the de um, develop option because everything happens over here. So, uh, so we have this piece of code handy, but to get start with it, we'll open up a new notebook. So we have this new notebook, but whenever you open up this notebook, you have to select one Spark cluster. Okay. So what exactly this Spark cluster does is that it provides the compute to run your code okay so we have already um, a spark pool cluster created but if you want to create on your own you have to click on this manage pool options you go over here and you have all the options that are there so if you want to create a new one just click on plus you will have uh, uh, some questions to or the steps that are required and then you click on review and create you are good to go okay so this is the part where you get to know about apache spark pools you can create a new one so let's just go back once again to the notebook experience so here we have the notebook we select one of the spark pool clusters available and you will see that uh, the language as a default is pi spark python but you have options to write your code in spark scala dot net uh, spark c sharp and spark sql to uh, write your code first you what you need to do you can also name your notebook just add in add code now these are like similar uh, cells that are there in jupyter notebooks itself so this is a synapse notebook okay so what we need to do this direct pip install uh, command doesn't work out so for this we have to use import pip pip main install the torch version that is the pytorch version that we have uh, so we will just pass in this command and run the cell you will see that uh, it would start the activity like start the spark session so it takes time generally uh, for the first time uh, it's it, it when it starts the engine it takes a little bit of time to get the things rolling okay so we'll just pause for a while in the mean uh, time when uh, the the cluster gets loaded okay so we have this uh, notebook handy over here the first thing what it does is that it imports um, torch now th this let us just uh, run this command once again mm. so it's being executed we have imported a torch library now in this step we will uh, declare two uh, tensors x and y that's being done uh, the command is being executed now we, have, we would um, find the weight as well as we will also add a gradient to it so the weight associated with the gradient so we will just run it so one minor modification over here you can check is the value of w So it says tensor and uh, it requires grad to true that's being there. Now we'll calculate the y hat that's the weight 
multiplied by the x tensor okay we are doing a forward pass now we'll calculate the loss for it so loss is equal to y underscore hat minus y uh, to the power 2 and now we'll just check the loss Okay, so we have checked the loss. Okay. Now, in this particular piece of code, we are doing a backward pass. That's using the function loss dot. That's a utility for PyTorch we are directly using. So, loss dot backward we have done. Now, we'll just calculate the grad. That's double dot grad, the weight and the grad for this particular um a run that we have done so what we see is we have run through um the entire pytorch code inside synapse and it uses the open source platform perfectly okay so that was the demo Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.